Hello ladies and gentlemen, and this is Zane. Oh, I'll fuck myself. <laughs> I'm doing a video response to the question, should pro wrestling be an Olympic, being the Olympics? And this is my take on it, so I want to get it like this. Um, should pro wrestling be an Olympics? That's a good, int good interesting question, because Essentially, everyone knows, as the gentleman on the video said, pro wrestling is scripted. It is. Essentially, the participants, or if it's not the owner, it's the booker, decides who wins the match, and then the two wrestlers, usually, what they do is they figure out what moves, what holds, what they want to do, basically, beforehand, and as they go on with the match, they work on how to really get the crowd into it and to improve on what they already came up with. Now that's how usually the basic bits about not about how the characters are, how the storylines go, nothing. Just how the basic wrestling is. Now could this translate into the Olympics? Essentially in a possible, in, in theory yes. If you take the theatrics out because essentially Pro wrestling is a theatrical type of entertainment, similar to vaudeville. If you never heard what vaudeville is, um, I made you a view on that. But basically, long ago, before television came out, before movies came out, you usually would go to, like, if you want to go to an opera, in a sense, that's similar to what they did with vaudeville. Vaudeville would usually have a whole bunch of acts. They come on the stage, they do their little bit, and then they finish and they go off. That's how vaudeville was. And it sends pro wrestlers in that similar type of venue because you are in a place similar to like um, a hall or a type of opera center or something, which is an arena. You put on your show to try and bring the people in to get them interested and vaudeville they will have acts of juggling, fire, breathing, fire walking, they would do types of um, escape acts. It doesn't make a difference how broad it was in vaudeville. Essentially wrestling is similar to that because they do similar types of things, except they make storylines in it, they try to bring you in with gimmicks, which is similar to vaudeville, but essentially that's how it is. If you strip that part out of pro wrestling, you basically have amateur wrestling. The only difference is that between amateur and pro wrestling, when it comes to actual wrestling, the wrestling holds are some of them, not all of them, are different. I understand if you look at the Off the Rope show when they talk about the Dan Gable Lufez Museum. Right now they have it with Road Warrior Animal, Animal which is cool. I remember um, the um, Legion do when I was young. I saw them at... Jimmy Crockett's promotion a little bit. I didn't see much of WCW. I saw more of WWE, which was WWF at the time. But I did see that. It was cool. Those guys knew how to really make people interested because they were very rough type of wrestling, as they call Smash Mouth type of wrestling, which wasn't just wasn't really ground and pound wrestling, where you would do actual wrestling holds, but you would basically do some wrestling but with a lot of high impact hits. In the Dan Gable Lufez Museum they have many wrestlers there that are on the Hall of Fame like um, several like Dan Gable himself. Lufez also, I think he came from an amateur background. Dan Gable which is supposedly very great in amateur background for wrestling, for pro wrestling and for boxing. But the basic thing is that if you strip out all the theatrics, you have amateur wrestling that has been slightly modified with slightly different types of moves, working in, instead of a flat mat on the ground, which is amateur, which you do in um, high school, in college, in universities, wherever, they do it in a boxing ring, 20 by 20. Basically, you would do your stuff in there. Now, if you're going to actually do this, you could go on the premise of doing it on an amateur background, but since the moves, some of them are different, it would be a bit different. If you would go by a rating system that some of the amateur backgrounds you would do by falling pins, but since a lot of wrestlers do not do full amateur movements, they do more like movements that are theatrical, 
for our actual movement, that is a little different. You don't have a small circle ring where you can get ring out. You're doing it in a boxing ring. In a sense, you could do it. It would, if you were going to base it on pro wrestling, at least to the point where there would actually be pins of one, two, three, or at least a pin of one. If you get the person down, instead of just like a rating system of a pin of one, you could do it like that. It seems it would be possible. I can't say it would work. I myself personally, I would not put pro wrestling in a type of situation like that. Pro wrestling started in the early 20th century, 1920s, 1930s, really began to get momentum after the 1940s into the 1950s when television just became new. It really isn't designed for that. I know the gentleman that I'm going to try and do the video response connecting to this said you could try and do it through uh, like a gymnastic thing where you would do the performance as a rating system from 1 to 10. It sounds like an interesting concept, but really that type of performance is supposed to interest the crowd. It's supposed to get the people emotionally involved. Now, I'm not saying that in types of gymnastics or like if you're going to do a karate or something, people are not emotionally invested. But in this case where it's going to be the Olympics where this is the pride of your country, as much as the pride is yourself, it doesn't translate that well. It doesn't. I don't believe it does. Like I said, if you stripped out the theatrical part, in a sense you would be doing it similar to an amateur type of Olympic event. It would work only in that respect. Right now, if you're going to do it in a physical form, pro wrestling is similar to amateur, and if you stripped out the, basic, the joke parts of it, as I would say, I'm not saying that, some people would say the fun parts where they're putting the storylines in and the gimmicks, I think it wouldn't work. But if you're going to do it in actual theory, it probably would work if you use it based on amateur rules and regulations. But you can use, instead of regular amateur moves, you would have a mix of amateur and pro wrestling types of moves because there are differences. Like I said, look at the Dan Gable, Lufez videos that the Off the Rope show are doing or um, The Score. I also heard of um, a YouTube channel called The Score. They do talks with people who are also pro wrestlers. Check them out and you'll see some of the information there as well. Well, this is my view on it, even though I didn't really think I would do a view of it, but even though it's a response, it is a view. So if you like this, subscribe, comment, have a good night, ladies.